taking old Ricky's game. Five two minute rounds, here we go. Much of these Croatians always look tough, don't they? It does. I wonder if he's got a history of cuts over the eye because he's got a lot of Vaseline there. Nicky comes hunting him. Big support for Ricky Nelda here at the Echo Arena tonight. Gordon Relic comes and looks, gets through, throws a few wild ones, but he gets him. He's got to get out of the corner now, though, but he comes back, tries to toe to toe with the Croatian. Relic, he, he looks a tough man, he's just got that tough look about him. The facial expression hasn't yes. changed since the, the beginning like of the fight. Yeah. It's a big opportunity for Ricky Nelda yeah, this is, you know, but he's up against it, Ricky Nelda. Um, you know, Relic, the tall southpaw as well, leading with that it, right hand. I mean, where does Ricky go if he doesn't win this? So this he's got to go for it. Exactly, he's got to go for it. He's got to go for it. You know, and he's up against it though. He's Relic's tall. He's got that long reach. He's southpaw. You know, he's thick set stance. He's not budging from that spot. You know, he needs to just work away, try and open him up, look for them already openings. Already under his eye, marked yeah, under his eye. Yeah, he's under that eye already. And, and, and uh, also on his uh, forehead, he's got a little lump appearing on his forehead. And this little counter from Relic. End of the first round. How did you see that, Robin? I saw Relic take that first round, um, personally. I just thought he, he caught uh, Nelda with the old counter, better shot. yeah, better shot for counter punches that he, he was throwing. Not coming in bundles, but the ones he did throw, you know, were managed to, to score and do obviously some damage to Ricky's face there. Like we said, you know, he's got a mark on and he does it, he does it, doesn't he, without any fuss? Exactly, he's not, like you say, he's not changed that facial expression no. since he's come in. <laughs> There's Jim. And he's ready to roll again. Jim. Uh, one, one ten each and two at it for um, Gore and the guys over there, so maybe they saw something working that we couldn't see here because. I didn't think a lot happened that first round. It was a, a typical first round. But yeah, you're right, yeah. not a lot happened. Yeah. 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 A couple of marks on uh, Nelda's face. Expression on no, uh, I've still not changed. Gordon Relic's face. I think Ricky knew he has to come into this and be at his absolute best yeah, so to have any to, chance. Yeah, he just needs to step it up that little bit more, I think. He's just letting Relic tee off. He's trying them counters, but he's just falling slightly short. I think he's struggling with that south ball lead, to yeah. be fair. You know, and sometimes, like we, we were saying about uh, Relic's expression, it hasn't changed since the, fi the, the, the first spell. You know, and, and that makes it tough for, for uh, Melder as well, because he doesn't know whether he's hurting him, he doesn't know whether, it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so nothing giving any, uh, Relic not giving anything away here. Melder again comes back. Struggling to get through to be fair to make yeah. any impact Tried on Relic. Tried to leave the left up there over the right hand lead of Relic's ball. Fail, just fell short because of the reach advantage that Relic has on him. Relic again throwing some really strong punches. Then he ties him up when he lets there. Uh, seems to be picking his shots and say, you know, wait, not wasting any energy. Exactly, you know, from distance he's picking his punches. As soon as Nelda gets close, ties him up. That's clever boxing. See, again, it ties him up. As soon as Nelda 
gets in close and probably could do, that's where he could do most of the damage in close. Into the second round. You got that the same? Yeah, I've got the same Bellic just nicking it. Not loads happening, but you know, he's, I think he's just doing enough to nick the round. He's taking his time, he's staying patient. He's picking the points as Nelda comes forward. Them sweet little counter punches. Well, there's Jim Freeman to tell us what the judges think. Yeah, all three judges had it for Gore in that round. Um, yeah, it's hard for Ricky to get inside with the, the reach advantage he's got and stuff. And, and it's an awkward southpaw as well. Which That's is what we're saying. The southpaw stance has caused him problems. And he's doing a clever game. He, when, as soon as Ricky tries it, he ties, ties him up. He, he's been an elite athlete. Yeah. When you talk to him, he's like, click, it sounds like clutch. Oh, Michael. There you go. Well, Michael Gomez just leaving the arena. Saw him fight Amir Khan in Birmingham. Put Amir Khan on his backside. Yeah. He needs a shot, doesn't he, now? He needs, he does, a, he needs yeah. something just to... Just to, just to shake, smoke, yeah. shake him up a little bit. Yeah, just give Relic something to think about. Exactly. Oh, oh, that was a push, that was a push, push. That's nice boxing from Relic. He's got quick hands as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's nice, nice boxing. Nice one, two. Not a lot of power in the punch. Well, there was in that one, but... Not mega power in every punch, but he puts his punches together well, like he's doing there. Oh, he's down. down goes Nedler. Nelda down, he's taking the count. He's up. Oh. Bumped and bruises. He's looking a bit of a mess now. He's as brave as a lion, mate. Oh, got another good oh shot. caught him again. Another good shot. Down twice. He's, up, he's, you know, he's, he's, as, he's as brave as a lion, yeah, Ricky. Line, but it might not be enough tonight. Yeah, he's starting to ship quite a few punches now. His face is swelling on his face, starting to mark up. That's, that, that's good stuff from Relic. He's trying to tempt, just, just trying to tempt Relic into a mistake. That's nice boxing from Relic, though. He's still keeping it at long range. He could go in for the kill now and try and stop Nedler, but he's still just picking his punches. And that just shows a good boxing brain. You know, he's working behind the jab, the one-two, and he comes again. And when you're taking this sort of punishment, you haven't got the strength, have you? Yeah, you know, like we say, we'll keep stressing, Nedler's got a big heart, you know, he's got boxing pride, you know, and he keeps coming back, but he's trying his best, but I mean, unfortunately, he's just falling short. And sometimes, you know, I mean, Ricky Nelder's finding out tonight, sometimes, Nothing to do with courage, nothing to do with effort, nothing to do with desire. But it is about, sometimes there's better people there. Exactly. He, he, he's, uh, you know, we've not seen too much of Gory Relic, but you know, tonight I've been quite impressed with his boxing ability, you know, and uh, he's, working, he's working well behind there's his Jim. boxing skills. Obvious 10-7 round, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. He's really got to go for it now, Ned. So he, he came out, he wouldn't sit on his corner. He wouldn't sit. Yeah, he, threw it, he, he wouldn't even take, he wouldn't even take yeah. water and he wants to go on with it. He just wants to get in. He knows he's got, he knows he's got a big... Sometimes, though, you have to protect a boxer from himself. He's given everything as well, exactly. Nick. And, and Melik doesn't look like he's going to fold at any point now. He's just sucker punched Ned there. I think that hurt him actually. Trying to catch him with the counter punch. The, fa the fans are loving it. They're loving the courage. work again from Melik tried the one two you know what I like about Relic is staying nice and nice and composed you know he's holding his boxes together 
The blood's hitting us here on the ringside. You've got to admire the courage of somebody yeah, like Mickey you know, Nelda. Still trying, you know. You don't want to see him get hurt. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, sometimes fighters can be too brave, that fight is pride. You know, maybe it's time for the corner, the cornerman to, to take make the control. decision. Yeah, he's, he, he, he's, he can't win the fight. He can't win the fight, he needs a knockout. He doesn't look like he's put any sort of dent in Relic to, um, to force the stoppage of the KO. You know, so maybe it's time to corner after this round. Start thinking about pulling him out and saving him for another day. Last few seconds. That's another round to Another Relic. round to Relic. And he does need a knockout he now. He needs a knockout big time. And like I say, you know, it doesn't look, no disrespect to, uh, to Nether, it doesn't look like it's going to come. To be fair, he hasn't laid a glove on. No, he's not got a dent in uh, Relic whatsoever, you know. You know, Relic still looks fresh. You know, even in that last round, there's a little bounce in his step. You know, he's staying nice and composed. He's using his jab, working nice, bad his jab, and his one-two punches. He's using his boxing skills. I've been quite impressed with his boxing skills tonight, to be fair. Ricky Nelda needs a knockdown, simple as that. Simple as that, absolutely, Jim, Jim Freeman. Ricky Nelda needs a knockout. And sometimes you need a punch, but I just don't think, I can't see him laying a glove on him. I can see he's not, he's not really hurt Relic at all in the face. Quite him once or twice, don't get me wrong. I'll tell you what, I've got to say, I think Ricky's done well to go. Yeah, he's done, he, you know, he's, like I say, heart of a lion, you know, big heart. Yeah, he's got to go for it, and he, you know, he's... And take the chance of being knocked out. It, uh, yep, he's not far behind now. Nice little body punch that went in there from uh, Nickler. Once again, just the to put a dent in yeah. Malik. Now they're put on the ropes again as Relic tries to pick his shots. Now that just keeps coming forward and Relic just waits, yeah, tries to open to him up. Yeah, goes to the body there. That was tries nice. to open up. First time I've seen Relic actually do that. Nice uh, body shots that he tried and actually worked for him again. Great support for Ricky Nelda here. Uh, you know, and he got to take your hat off to him. He's trying, you know, he's not giving up. He could have done, you know, but he, he stayed in there. Still trying down to that last bell. To it, it's to his credit, he's still standing. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's been caught with some good punches. You know, he's been dropped like we've seen uh, three to three times now. You know, and, and he's still in there, he's still trying. Looking for the opening, the one opening. about Relic though. Every time it looks anything like dangerous, he just ties him up. Ties him up. There it is. No question. We have a world light heavyweight champion from Croatia, Goran Relic, that's for sure. Yeah. And on his debut as well, very impressed to be fair uh, to Relic. You know, Top nice, yeah, nice boxing skills. Um, you know, uses his feet well, in and out of danger, forced to fight at times, uses his defensive, uh, defensive movements on his back foot. Other times to get away from Nedler. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with uh, Relic, to be honest. Listen to the support for Rick and Elder. Exactly. And that's good to see. You know, he's clearly lost the fight, you know. His, his, his fans are still cheering him on. There's the official confirmation. I 
sehr blöd Job, der dies in den Sieg sorgt. There it is, the new World BKB 